Review with my sex and the city star Sarah Jessica Parker. Obama, wearing 4,000 glittery figgy Balenciaga boots, packed out the Barclays Center in Brooklyn on Wednesday night, where Parker interviewed her about her new book, Becoming. Obama's striking yellow dress was also Balenciaga, an item from the spring-slash-summer 2019 Reed Itelware collection that is not yet available. During the event, Obama talked about the decisions behind the outfits that made headlines during her time as First Lady. During Obama's eight years as First Lady, she became a powerful influence in fashion. She could wear a dress and it would sell out hours after she wore it. Obama said she knew as a woman, her clothes would be dissected and mentioned no matter how weighty the topic she was talking about. I did know that my clothes were making a statement, I knew that was the case, she said. So we decided why don't we use this platform to uplift some young new designers who normally wouldn't get this kind of attention, because you can change their lives, which is one of the reasons why we chose Jason Wu for my inaugural gown. She also said what didn't expect it, unlike some big designers who felt as if they should have the honor. You learn that there are people in this scene who feel entitled to these things because they've done it for a while, and I hated that feeling. There are a whole lot of people out here who are trying to make it. There are young women and immigrants and black folk. Obama also said personal energy of a designer mattered. I didn't want to wear the clothes of someone who didn't have a good spirit. And you could hear these things. You could hear how they treated my staff or how they treated their works. So everyone I wore as far as I knew had a good spirit as well, she said. Parker and Obama spoke for more than an hour before a sold-out audience at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. New York. It was the last date on the first leg of her becoming an intimate conversation with Michelle Obama tour which has sold out at arenas across the country. It is matched in popularity with her becoming book, which has sold more than 3 million copies since its release last month. During the wit-arranging conversation, Obama only briefly mentioned the Trumps by name but jokingly alluded to the investigations involving the Trump administration. Obama said as the first black president of the United States, former President Barack Obama and his staff felt no mistakes could be made. Often time, when you're the first or the only, the bar shifts a lot, right? The bar gets set, you meet it, exceed it, they move the bar, and we're watching that right now the bar's just swinging, and swinging, she said, to the laughter of the audience. It's a totally new bar never seen this bar before, ever, she added. But when we're in office, our bar was very different not getting indicted, and telling the truth. Later in the talk she said this is going to report it on Michelle Obama throwing shade, she said to more laughter. These are just facts. The outfit caused quite a stir online, with former White House advisor Valerie Jarrett, who was apparently present at Barclays, posting a picture of the boots from backstage. Well, I have never seen boots like this before. Have you? Jarrett wrote on Twitter. Love that Michelle Obama chose these for her last stop on her 2018 E.M. Becoming book tour in Brooklyn, New York. The response to Jarrett's post was mostly positive, if somewhat concerned for Obama's comfort. God, they look stunning and uncomfortable in equal measure. One Twitter user wrote of the boots. Beautiful. However, my feet would last about 10 minutes in them. Another remarked. Sales of Obama's book have been heavy, with the book breaking through to number one in the UK on Tuesday. In the US and Canada, the book sold 725,000 copies on its first day, and within two weeks had become the number one book of the year. Obama's appearance follows close on the heels of controversy, after she drew backlash for snide remarks about her successor as First Lady in an interview with NBC's Jimmy Fallon on Tuesday. Obama said her thoughts on leaving the White House for the last time were by Felicia. The phrase is used to say goodbye to someone you dislike or don't care about. Also on the show, she pulled a face when discussing the moment Melania Trump awkwardly gave her a gift at the inauguration. Melania had given her a Tiffany's box containing a lovely frame which she received in front of the cameras, pulling a face indicating it had caught her off guard. After a few seconds of not knowing what to do with the gift, Barack took it from her and gave it to a member of staff. Also on Wednesday, 
Obama's husband Barack took the opportunity to bring holiday cheer to sick kids at the Children's National Hospital in Washington, D.C. The former president suited up in a Santa Claus costume and merrily sang Christmas carols with hundreds of doctors, nurses, hospital workers, parents and children during the visit. Barack Obama was greeted by happy hospital staff and others as he arrived in a red hat and belted out lyrics to